You're very kind, Mr. Chair. Uh, colleagues, good evening. Thank you for having me. Uh, our proceedings were delayed by the vote, but I look forward to the conversation tonight. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to appear uh, at your committee this evening. I'm joined by two colleagues with whom I work closely. Uh, David Vigneault, the director of CSIS, tells me he spent more time at various parliamentary committees and public inquiries than he has had at his office recently. Uh, so he is always happy to be at these occasions, as am I. And Sébastien Aubertin Giguère, uh, who works at the Public Safety Department on issues of national security as well. Um, Mr. Chair, La Recherche Canadienne est à... Canadian research is at the forefront of discovery, and today's work is driving solutions to humanity's most pressing challenges. This is something we saw during the pandemic, of course. Canada's research is defined by its excellence and collaborative nature. Unfortunately, it is this very openness and collaboration with international partners that, that can make Canada a target for foreign influence and interference. State actors are actively targeting Canadian academic and research institutions, as well as public and private organizations to collect sensitive personal data, scientific knowledge, and gain access to technology. The Government of Canada takes the issue of safeguarding Canada's research enterprises very seriously. To that end, we've implemented a number of initiatives in the last couple of years to encourage a research environment that is open, that is as open and as collaborative as possible, uh, and one that includes the necessary safeguards. Uh, the budget in 2022 announced the creation of the Research Security Center at the Department of Public Safety. Uh, we will be making over the coming uh, weeks uh, significant investments, I think, in bolstering the government's ability, the security and intelligence community's ability to detect, disrupt, and counter uh, all aspects of foreign interference as well. Uh, this particular research security center, Mr. Chair, has advisors located across Canada. The center is a first point of contact for Canadian researchers and universities who need support protecting their research and equip their personnel with the proper tools and awareness. Uh, that's also why in 2021 the government implemented the National Security Guidelines for Research Partnerships, which assess all academic research partnerships with any private partner or funder to help, again, protect their work in terms of national security concerns. Most recently, in January this year, we announced new eligibility criteria for grants from our federal agencies and the Canada Foundation for Innovation through the new Policy on Sensitive Technology Research and Affiliations of Concern. These new rules prohibit funding for research proposals when any of the researchers are affiliated with or in receipt of funding or in-kind contributions from a university research institute or laboratory on the list of named research organizations. À la lecture des documents when reading the publicly released uh, documents, on the Winnipeg lab, it is clear that elements from a Chinese-sponsored recruitment program were involved. It is well known that such programs are one way that China seeks to incentivize academics to participate in activities that exploit advancements in Canadian technologies. Through these programs, China's goals are to improve its military and intelligence capabilities, as well as their economic competitiveness, all at the expense of Canada's national interest. Initiatives which you've undertaken in recent years are aimed at stemming these sorts of foreign initiatives by arming Canadian research and researchers with risk awareness, tools for risk mitigation, and by removing their, removing their work from the cycle of foreign interference. And obviously, uh, my colleagues from the Public Safety Department and the Director of CSIS can speak uh, in more detail on these specific programs. And Mr. Chair, just to conclude, uh, with respect to the two individuals who were employed uh, previously at the Winnipeg Lab, 
Uh, they are currently under investigation by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And as an investigation is ongoing, uh, you, Mr. Chair, and colleagues will understand that as Minister responsible for the RCMP, it uh, wouldn't be appropriate to comment on any other further specifics at this time. That said, I have uh, the impression that maybe the questions won't exclusively be on those two individuals uh, at the Winnipeg Lab. And if I'm right, then I look forward to that conversation very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Minister.